Hi and welcome to this week's project. In this week's project I'm doing something, probably going back and revisiting something that I've done in the past before. Um, I've got a couple of different sets here that will be a pendant, that will be a ring, this one will be a pendant and this one will be a ring. I'm going to be casting this set in Amazing Casting Resin and this set in Clear Cast. And what the idea of doing in this video is um, I've had a couple of questions about epoxy with jewellery and I know there is people out there that do use epoxy. In the past I'd never had any luck with it and it came down to the buffing. But I'm going to revisit that. I've got a new um, epoxy resin since then and this one does shine a lot, lot shinier than my previous one. So I decided that I would cast this four different things and I'm going to treat them all exactly the same after this point. Um, they will be buffed and polished and sanded exactly the same way and I want to see the results after. I mean, I love Alumalite casting resin. It is my absolute favourite. Um, but it can be very expensive um, with the jewellery making, especially if you're starting out. I mean, when I first started it was. I've now got that much of a backlog of this stuff that... Um, that's the amazing casting resin there. That um, I don't particularly worry about it because it doesn't use very much in jewellery. I'm going to be using the ocean blue dye in two of them I think. I think I'll use that in the Illumilite and this is because I'm going to need to tell each other apart and I think I'll use the green or oh, should I use maybe I should use a different colour actually altogether and maybe use the purple in the epoxy and we'll see what the difference is with them at the end. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll be doing this bit in time lapse. There's nothing fancy in here. I've just used Melly Bears with it all and we'll just get this part casted. And then the next part that we'll come back to is when I'm in the shed and starting to shape everything. Okay, welcome back. Just to, took you back just to have a look at these now I've demolded them. Uh, this is the Illumilite ones. This was originally going to be the ring, but a bit of resin reeked out of that, so um, that will be a pendant. And this is thick enough to be the ring, so I shall make a ring from this one. And this is the epoxy. So we'll see how we get on with those. This will be the pendant and this will be the ring. Anyway, we'll go away and get um, these. At the next bit will be time-lapse because I'll just be shaping them. So I'll get on and get shaping. 
Okay, that's us in the shed. Um, I'm just about to uh, get some drill holes in these for the rings. Um, this bit isn't isn't the best. Um, like I say, the first bit that was going to be the ring isn't going to be good enough for a ring. So I'm going to do it in this, but there will be a lot of resin down the side, which is not normally what I do. I like wood to completely surround the ring, but well, apart from the top, but. Um, for this one this is going to be how it's done I'm going to put the two holes in here and then I shall probably trim them down on the bandsaw and then I shall sand them to shape and it will be for the two of them sanded all down and then we'll come back to the buffing wheel I've showed this process um, I'll link that video in it at the end where I show this process but it's pretty straightforward um, so I'm going to get on, get these done, get them all shaped and then we'll go over to the lathe to start the polishing because the real purpose of this is to get uh, to see if the epoxy is going to be any different with the aluminite with the way I polish and clean them up. Okay, that's them all shaped and us back at the lathe. Um, obviously that's the epoxy. When you look at them now, they seem to, to react the same from the bench sander. The bench sander's on 120. Um, so that's them shaped. Now I'll start uh, 120 on here, which sounds a bit crazy because I've already done 120, but these grits are slightly smoother when you do them. So, um, so I'll start 120 here and work my way up. Now I'm going to time lapse each bit of the sanding and then um, we'll I'll do up to 240 and then I'll come back and we'll have a look and see how they're doing at that point and then I'm going to go straight up to 800 because it's quite a big jump well 240 then I've got 400, 600, 800 and then we'll, we'll go on to the buffing wheels but all the actual sanding and the buffing will be quick time lapses and um, I'll come back in between just to let you know how we're getting on. Okay, that's the up to 240. Um, I just gave them a clean off with a bit of um, rubbing alcohol. You can see into the two there. And the epoxy you did, doesn't... I mean, it shines as well, but it's not as opaque. But it's early days yet. We'll wait and see. It might change as we go along. But so far so good. They seem to have sanded about the same at this point. It's more I think it's more about the resin rather than the the actual polishing. I had a little hole there so it's got dust in it. And that's the so that's epoxy and that's alumilite. So we'll go up to eight hundred grit now and then I'll come back again. Okay, that's it up to 800. I don't think I really needed to go that high in all honesty. Um, just give it a clean now and then we'll get it onto the the buffing wheels. Now, sometimes I find that there's old blemishes or there's little scratches so I go back and I put them over different pads again and go back up through the pads but just do it quickly, just aiming straight at the any marks that there is. So if you see that, that's what I'm doing. Basically find a scratch. Um, I'm not convinced that this resin is going to be, but I'm still continuing on. Epoxy seems to be 
I think where the, the issue is, is epoxy does seem to be softer than um, alumilite. It's more brittle, I think, alumilite, although, I don't know. Anyway, we'll carry on. We'll get you through the buffing wheels and each after each buffing wheel, I'll uh, give you a look at it just so that we can see where we're going from here. I just wanted to do a, a thorough um, comparison, really, with it, and that's why I keep coming back so often, um, just to try and save you all out there making jewellery because there's nothing more disappointing if it doesn't work um, because I found that originally when I first started I would make a, a beautiful shape and then it wouldn't actually shine the way I wanted it to shine now there's, you know there's nothing wrong with these when they're finished you know if that's all you've got these do look beautiful when they're finished you just don't get the same clarity that's all but we, we never know it might happen yet quickly come back I've just actually coated the um, wood with minnow wax um, just to, to give it a better finish it'll give it a higher shine for the finish so I've just done that before I buff right let's get on with the buffing Okay, so that's the first one. Now with the first um, wheel, you really need to make sure any imperfections are gone at this stage. So if you've got any scratches, you have to go back, re-sand. Um, as you see, I just pick them up and rub the areas and re-sand them until the scratches disappear. Now, um, that's most important on this one because really after that it's a finer grit so if this one didn't get it out the next one's definitely not going to okay so here is the rings I'm not going to say anything I'm just showing you them so that's those two now these weren't degassed I actually wanted to degas them but um, as you've seen on the update which I'm not quite sure when these are going out but um, on the update I was explaining about the vacuum chamber um, so and I still don't have um, the the new container and stuff so I've not been able to degas these which is a bit of a shame because I won't get the same clarity but um, yeah anyway so and that's the uh, pendants actually got a scratch there I'll go back and repair that scratch before I go any further but I'll do that off camera so that's it so far so with this one you get a bit of a shine but it doesn't shine like it it should the next one you'll see the big shine and then the the other buffing wheel after that just really polishes it you don't really get any deeper shine after that that's what I found anyway so that's them so far. I am actually quite pleased with them so far. So, right, we'll get on to the next buffing wheel. Uh, I've just come back. I am absolutely astonished at the finish of the epoxy such a massive difference between the last one that I used and this one the last one that I used it just it just didn't have the same clarity it's very very difficult I would say to tell between the two at this point I mean I'm always tempted to say that the epoxy is slightly shinier that's the rings there and this is the pendants I 
I am actually really ast astonished at the finish. <laughs> far, <coughs> far shinier. I can honestly say this. I, I don't think there's a difference. I do think it's slightly shinier. Which, as you can see, that's, that's really shocked me. Right, I'm going to put the final finish on and um, I'll quickly time lapse that. I know it's a bit boring with the time lapses, but I just really wanted to go through the process. Um, so I'll put the final polish on and then after the final polish, we'll go into the bedroom where I can get some lights and we can have a really good detailed look at it. You'll, you'll notice, by the way, I haven't done any holes here for the pendants. I will do some of those that will come laughter, but um, I'm not doing it for this demonstration. Right, we'll get the final polish on. Okay, <coughs> welcome back. So, let's have a bit of a look at these. This is the Illumilite one. Hopefully get some nice clear shots for you. And as you can see, the edges uh, give a great shine. And then that's the pendant from the Illumilite. Now, it would have looked better obviously without bubbles, but I don't think it takes it away from it what it is. And obviously you can see there's some little pits where the polishing stuff's got in between them. <clears throat> that's the purple one. also an amazing shine on it so that's the epoxy and then this is the other epoxy one now these just they just look brilliant I honestly think there's a, a I don't know whether it's to do with the colors but <clears throat> and they're both really shiny and the edges that we've sort of cut into it um, look really good but there is a slight shininess more of that one but like I say I don't know whether it's just a colour but the epoxy is as good it was you could feel the difference when you're sanding it um, it feels a softer material than the alumilite feels harder but um, as for the results, nothing like the last epoxy I used. The last epoxy was almost cloudy. You would get the shine, but you would still have the cloudiness in the resin, but certainly not with this. I mean, that this is just my experience um, with the, the last resin. And I mean, I've come a long way since then, so I don't know if it would be different now, just the way I treat it. And... Um, yeah just really pleased so yeah this epoxy anyway for sure works perfect as does the Illumilite but you know when you're comparing price difference there's a massive price difference between the epoxy that I'm using and the Illumilite so it's up to you which you use Um. yeah hope you enjoyed this one anyway um if you did enjoy give me that thumbs up if you didn't give me the thumbs down and even a reason on why you didn't enjoy it but uh it's a good comparison and john from the woodworking shed it was john really that spoke to me very first about the shine that he gets with his pens and projects that he does and i've always said that i got that shine I just didn't get the clarity in it but it was John that really sort of spurred me on to try it again and I'm really pleased that I have because at least I can give you this information 
um, on what to use and you know I have to say that there's no reason for me to use the Illumilite if I'm getting the same results with the epoxy there really isn't so you know I don't know it, I might just go on to using the epoxy anyway hope you enjoyed and um, thanks very much for watching and see you again next time